All right, now on to Grapevine City Council, place five. All right, we're gonna move on to the Grapevine City Council. Chris Coy is the incumbent running unopposed for place five. We've offered him two minutes to share his thoughts. Right. Sir? Well, thank you all for letting me come over here this evening. I know uh, you've probably got a much more interesting discussion following, so we'll go with that. But uh, I just did wanted to at least come by and introduce myself, tell, me, tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Chris Coy. I've lived here in Grapevine for about 25 years. And uh, I have a, uh, I'm married, have three children in elementary school, and uh, I think that's representative of a lot of the demographic here in Grapevine. So that's been a pleasure to be a part of the city council to represent that demographic. Uh, my wife and I and the family are members of First Baptist Church in Colleyville, so we actually go down the uh, to the other side of the road for uh, for church. But um, I've been on city council here for six years, just finishing out my second term. I'm still the newbie there by comparison, so I'm actually looking forward to, in the next month or so, that won't be the case. I'll get to move up the totem pole just a run, so that'll be good. Uh, but we actually, I think, uh, have accomplished a lot in the last six years, and I'm proud of my record. In the last six years, we have uh, had no tax increases. We've actually been able to reduce the tax rate three times in those six years. We now have the lowest tax rate in the area, and aside from a few anomaly cities like uh, Westlake and Dallas-Lington Gardens, we actually have the lowest tax rate in the Metroplex. Uh, we're going to continue to have some economic development. We've had some t uh, headwinds that we've had to contend with the last few years with the highway construction slowing things down a little bit, admittedly. But I think we have uh, that we're well positioned to continue our record of some favorable economic development. That actually helps us broaden our tax base. It adds to our sales tax revenues, and that in turn enables us to keep our property tax rates low. That also brings visitors into the city, and so you can justify some restaurant and entertainment venues that are good for our visitors, but also are good for our residents. And so we, uh, I think those of us that live here at Grapevine think it's a great place to live, great place to work, and I think we're on the right track to continue going down that road. And I want to be a part of that as we go uh, continue to build out our public safety building, expand our community activity service set our community activity center and continue to keep our tax rates low and look for opportunities to continue to re reduce them further thank you very much thank you mr Boyd. oh wait i'm sure okay sorry I, I know you're the only one you're still going to get the, the... <laughs> uh northeast Tea party has something called the taxpayer protection pledge and i'll go ahead and read it for you it says i and it has space to fill out your name uh, pledge to the taxpayers of whatever city, in this case yes. it would be Grapevine, that I will oppose and vote against any and all efforts to increase taxes. Would you be willing to sign this tonight? Sure. I think my record speaks for itself that we've reduced it three times in six years and won't be increasing it going forward. That ends the questions for you, sir. All right. I would like to next have Mark Blum, Duff Odell, Luann Gatz, and Deborah Jordan. Up. 